Yo, what's up guys? So, if you asked me who my top 10 favorite magicians of all time would be, John Carey would definitely be on this list. All of John's material is so good, and I've always wanted to teach you some of his stuff, but you know, who am I to teach his stuff? So one day I just asked him, dude, can I teach one of your tricks or some of your tricks? Would that be okay with you? And John being the sweet and sincere guy that he is, he told me that would be perfectly okay and he would be happy that I do it for you. So the trick I'm going to teach you today is called Aces from the Dust from his book Crafted with Carrie. This book is amazing. Uh, front to back, uh, everything is just gold. So many gems in there definitely worth the read. Now this book is out of print, but you can still get a PDF version or an ebook version on sites like Vanishing Ink, Penguin Magic, uh, those kind of websites, or from John himself. I'm very happy to be teaching you guys some of his material, and do me a favor and give him a huge thanks down in the comments. Just say thanks John, we love you. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is Aces from the Dust, and uh, first of all, take a look at these cards, man. They're freaking popsicles on them, dude. Popsicle cards, I love them. My friend Jay Waters gave me this deck, and I absolutely love it. Okay, anyway, on with the trick. So, um, you can have somebody uh, select a card, maybe they can say stop any time. Maybe they say stop uh, right there is fine. So now, what we'll do is we'll have some cards chosen at a random, okay? So maybe... Um, Maybe we'll use you, okay? So at random, just uh, touch the back of any three cards that you want. So they do that. They touch the back of any three cards like this. But that could have been any three cards at all. So we'll just uh, take a look at them. Let's see. We have, uh, we have a four, we have a five, and we have a seven. A four, a five, and a seven. Just so nobody can know uh, the order of these cards, give them a quick mix if you would. Awesome. Just like that. Now what I'll do is... Oh, by the way, did you look at your card yet? You haven't. Well, you gotta look at your card, man. All right, so take a look. I won't look at their card. They remember their card. So what I'll do is select any one of these cards and mix it with your card. Just mix it all around so that you could not know the, the order of the cards. You don't even know where your own cards at this point, okay? So what I'll do, using my psychic abilities, I'm trying to pick up some vibes of what your card might be amongst these two. I can't even remember uh, which cards you picked earlier. year. That doesn't matter. I'll just try to find your card, okay? So here we go. Ooh, I'm picking vibes on this one. Was that your card? <laughs> Amazing. We'll try it one more time. This time we'll try it uh, with, a, with a different card. Okay, so mix all of these three cards around so that nobody could know, not even you, where your, where your own card is. Okay, so we'll try it one more time here. Let's see. Ooh. I think, I think, was there a four in there? Um, I think that was the four. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I know. I, I think, I think that's your card. Turn it over. Is that your card? Oh, nail it again. So watch. I think we'll, I think we'll try it one more time. There's one more card left, but this time mix them all around so nobody can know where your card is. Not even you. And this time we'll take, well, I'll use you again, but I need two different people, two other people. You and you, perfect. This time we'll play a little game. Whoever has your card, whoever has the ace wins the game, okay? So each of you just put your hand over a card. Whoever has the ace wins. Go. All right, perfect. Like I said, whoever has the ace wins. So on the count of three, each of you turn your card over. One, two, three, go. Well, I guess we're all winners. All right, man, I love this trick, don't you? It's always a good day when you have a good deck and a good trick. So here's the action on this. Uh, one of the aces uh, has to be pencil dotted. So just take any pencil and dot the corners on the white borders here. Or if we're using, you know, a red deck with a red sharpie, just dot in one of those dots. Up to you how you to mark the card, but one of the aces must be marked, and that card will be your force card. So since it is a pencil dot, I like to use my uh, uh, my force, my timing force, and have the other three aces on top of the deck, and that's the setup. Um, I'll explain how this is a little different than John and Carrie's book um, in a minute. So with the three aces on top and your pencil dotted ace somewhere in the middle, you can time force that ace. Just say, as I spread cards, just say stop any time. And what you're gonna do is just give them the pencil dotted card. All you gotta do, you know it's in the, about the middle, so time it to where uh, 
they just stop you there. So I just say stop anytime as I go through cards, uh, maybe stop right there. And all you do is they don't know the exact card that you're stopping on. It could be any one of these cards here, but you know where the pencil dot card is. So just take all the cards above that pencil dot and just give it to them. Now ask them to take a look at it as you begin to overhand shuffle these three aces singly to the bottom of the deck. And on the, we do a fourth single, but you want to end jog that card just like this. So that way you have a random end jogged card above those three aces on the bottom, which then you just lift up at the end jog so you can get a break, a pinky break above those three aces. Now you will have somebody, a different person, uh, go through the deck and just touch any three cards, okay? So they go through, they just touch any card, any card, and any card. Now, since you have that break above those three aces on the bottom, you're going to switch these aces for these three cards using Ed Marlowe's Drop Switch Edition. And in John Kerry's book, he says to use the Jinx switch, which also works beautifully. But since I'm doing this on camera, yeah, and you can notice the Jinx switch, so I wanted to make it look decent for you on camera. But any switch you do uh, for the aces in these cards will work, okay? So just whatever you like to do. It doesn't matter the exact technique, okay? So the drop switch, with the drop switch addition, uh, what you do is this is kind of like that old no lap switch, but done differently. What you do is you actually take out these out jogged cards uh, legitimately without stripping these out. So you just really take them out like this. So you're holding the three cards in your hand, these three random cards. So when you do that, when you strip them out, in the action of apparently turning them over face up on top of the deck, you just add the cards above the thumb break on top of them, okay? So I'll go through that one more time so you can get a clear picture. So you spread through, the ask them to touch any three cards they want to, and you, as you close up, you just sort of kick these over with your middle finger so they're sort of angled out like this. Just kick them over like this. And now you'll just, there's a fly. Now you'll just uh, pick the deck up like this and below grip transferring that pinky break above the aces to a thumb break. Now what you do is you really strip them out just the three cards like this. And as you go to like tap them or square them up, what you do is you just drop these cards onto them as you do that. So this is exposed view, drop those on just like this as you revolve those face up on top of the deck and square them up just like this and then keep a break below all six cards. Now you're going to do the zero uh, pushover addition thing to where you just show three cards like this and name them as they go by. Say, uh, it's got a nine, I got a nine, and I got a three. Now, since everything is in motion, when you go to do the final push off, you just push over the whole block above the break. And at fast speed, it looks like this. You got the, got the nine, got a nine, and got a three. And it just looks like you simply turn those three cards over, but in fact, you switch them for the aces. That zero block turnover thing is really handy to have when you're dealing with multiple cards like this okay so just name them as i go by again like nine nine three and then turn them all over and just put these on the table now you put the deck aside and since their card is an ace and of course it matches these three aces here which they believe are random cards the nine and nine i forgot what they are and in fact it's okay if you don't remember them it makes for a better trick anyway all right so now look excuse me you take one of the cards and they've noted their card they know what their card is you take one of the cards say i'm going to try to use my psychic energy my psychic vibrations to try to determine what your card is or where your card is okay so take one of the cards and they can pick them they can pick it out if they want to take one of the cards and ask them to mix it around with their card so they don't even know where their own card is at this point and they they do all the mixing themselves all right so you do this and then you sort of do this wave your hand over a second i'm gonna try to pick up some vibes of where your card is uh, within these two say ooh, ooh, i think i think it's this one right here was that your card and they say yeah they they get a reaction whatever now let's try it one more time uh this time we'll try it with another card we'll try it with three cards this time so now that they mix them around ask them to mix them so they don't even know where their card is nobody could know do this if you do remember what one of those cards were i think one of them was a nine say so hmm i think maybe well, I, th I think that that's the nine right there. So maybe these two, I, th I think it's this one right here. It's the Ace of Diamonds, we did it again. Now you say, we'll try it one more time and I need uh, 
a few of the, I need a few people to help me out for this, all right? So you want to get the person involved here and three other people, all right? So now you turn it back over and you toss this one in. Now I'll have somebody and mix them all around so they don't know where the card is. It feels like you're going to do this whole thing again, but really you uh, turn the tables and do a different trick. All right, so somebody mixes them all around and puts them in a row like this. Say this time, I want each of you to touch one of the cards and whoever has that ace wins the game. All right, so they all touch a card and see on the count of three, turn your cards over, whoever has the ace wins. And they all do that one at the same time. And the boom, boom, boom. And of course, everybody wins because they're all aces. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And if you learned something new, if you got a value from the video, do me a huge favor, hit the like button, comment down below, share the video, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.